Okay. Good morning. Good afternoon. <laughs> Today we have Andre Lobanov uh, from Russia. Uh, he's going to talk about his amazing work uh, developing a digital uh, programming for kids. So please let's start. Okay. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, Hopefully, uh, you will enjoy uh, watching the video or participating uh, in the today tasks. And uh, thank you very much for for inviting me to uh, to show you the system and to talk about uh, uh, teaching kids uh, coding and other digital skills. Uh, my name is Andrei Labanov, uh, and I'm from Russia. So, based on my education, I am uh, I had the masters in applied math from Moscow State University, and. Uh, uh, for the last two years, I am developing my startup, uh, the software for teaching kids coding, and I would like to talk about it today with you. Um, so, like, I will show some slides uh, with some ideas about what we are doing. So, the algorithmics uh, uh, is uh, the algorithmics is the name of the project. Uh, so, we are teaching. First of all, we are teaching kids the algorithms. So, the name came from it. Uh, and the algorithmics uh, consist of two different blocks. The first one is a software, and this software uh, is uh, is developing for teachers, school uh, schools, and kids. So there are some interfaces for it, and the system can be used by teachers during the uh, the class lessons in the schools. So it's not online; it's uh, developed to use uh, um, in blended learning. Uh, let's call it way of using. And the second part of algorithmics is our international coding school. So we opened our filials with our partners in more than uh, 40 different, 45 uh, different cities in uh, already eight countries. Uh, so if we uh, go through the like uh, logistic of geography, uh, so one year ago, uh, it was uh, one country, one city, it was Moscow, and uh, more than 300 kids were participating in our programs uh, in Moscow. Uh, now uh, we have filials uh, not only in, some, in a lot of cities in Russia, but also in Poland, in Australia, uh, in Israel, and uh, some cities of the former USSR area. So it's Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Azerbaijan. Um, uh, if, like, uh, if we speak about... Uh, uh, some gun chart of the how project was developed. So me and my friends uh, starting to teach kids coding based of our education uh, in the autumn of uh, 2016, and there were 50 students. At the same time, we started the first experiments with uh, developing the software. Uh, we were uh, impressed by Scratch uh, and Blockly things, and based on them, developed our own system. So in the winter of uh, 2016, uh, we were the partners of uh, the Russian Hour of Code, and uh, we developed uh, the games, uh, coding games for it, and more than 4 million kids in Russia participated in the Hour of Code from Russia, uh, and they used our platform, our uh, software, uh, to make their first steps in coding. Uh, and uh, as I told, uh, like, Today, uh, we are working with 11,000 kids uh, in these eight countries. I, I will tell you later how we are doing this. And like the first uh, and the main thing we will talk today, it's about the product, the software. Uh, I, will, I will explain you how, uh, what uh, the main ideas we use to develop the system and uh, what the benefits, uh, in, in, in my opinion, the IT system can provide for the education uh, um, for, for, for the education. So the software uh, have three main users. So it's uh, the platform with the content, educational content in it. So the first user is the student, and uh, the students have 24 hours access to the, uh, uh, to the problem uh, based learning and project based learning in the system. So they can learn, uh, solve a lot of problems about coding. Uh, and at the same time, they can do the projects in Scratch in the system. And uh, like next year, not only in the Scratch, but uh, using the Python also. Uh, 
so uh, of course uh, a lot of gamification things for the kids so when they uh, solve the problems correctly uh, they earn experience for their character in the system uh, there are a lot of different exp um, theory and practical explanations uh, that help the kids to understand the topics uh, we introduce the storyline in each course so there are some characters uh, like cartoons in the system so uh, just uh, to motivate and make uh, the education more is the game. The second, uh, the second uh, user in the system is of course the teacher, and uh, the teacher in the system have access uh, has access to all the um, learning materials. For example, uh, each like um, in the system there are courses, and uh, the teacher can choose the course that he can he will use uh, uh, during the uh, with with his kids, with his students on the lessons. And in the system, he can find the learning, um, the um, lesson plans for each lesson with uh, uh, detailed uh, learning objectives for each lesson and with uh, a lot of content that he can uh, helpfully use during the lesson uh, to, be, to be more efficient as a teacher. At the same time, uh, there are a lot of analytics in the system and the teacher can go through this analytics and understand how each kid performs during the lesson. I will show you later how it works. And the third user, it's the administrator. So this person uh, planned the lessons, control the quality of uh, teaching by the teacher, and also can uh, send, for example, the emails to the parents with uh, some information what the kids learn on the lessons and what they can do at, at home, for example. And the next year, we will introduce the fourth user, it's the parent. So the parent also co can go to the system, can see the feedback from the teacher in the system, and uh, like see how the kid performed during the lessons. Um, I, I will go, um, I, like, I will go to the, uh, to the system correctly. Can you see the screen? Yes. Yeah. So I will try to go to the English version so you can understand some of the points. So I will explain how the system works. So now you can see on the screen the, um, the interface of the teacher. So for example, uh, today like we created the uh, group, uh, kids group for teachers, let's call it, uh, to show you how the system can work. So uh, I'm the teacher, so I'm logging in the system and I want to prepare myself to the lessons. So in the like, lessons part of the system, I can go deep dive in one of the lessons, for example, the first lesson, and uh, click there, and uh, uh, I will show all the, uh, I will, I, I, now I see all the materials that are available for me to, pre to, be, to prepare myself to the lesson. For example, I want to understand what uh, topic I will go through with uh, my kids on the lesson. So I'm open the PDF file and uh, you can see on the screen now uh, the long document uh, with the lesson plans. So like what's the topic of this lesson? Sorry, it's in Russian, but, uh, uh, but I will try to, understand, uh, to show you what, what, is it, what it is. So here you can see the topic of the lesson. Here you can see the learning objectives of the lesson. So like what kids uh, will understand during the lesson, what should they know after the lesson. And then you can see their uh, description of what do the teacher need on the lesson. Like you need uh, on this lesson, like pens, uh, the IT system, uh, some uh, extra stuff that uh, will be used uh, on offline part of the lesson. Then all the materials that uh, you need in the lesson, we have the link that you can open it and see it. Then uh, there are 10 pages, so uh, then the next page is the lesson plan. So like the first part of the lesson, five minutes, uh, like it's the announce of the course. So this is the first lesson. The second part, it's like we, we are introducing the system. Uh, we need uh, to, um, um, to say the names of the old kids, uh, to make the relationship, etc., etc. So all the minutes you need and like uh, what will you do th this part. And then 11 pages of the detailed description of each part of the lesson. So like what the teacher should do, how the kids can uh, react on it, uh, what the extra materials uh, can the teacher use uh, to be more efficient. 
So there are a lot of materials here. Uh, so uh, the teacher should read all of this to, pr to prepare himself to the lesson. Then uh, he can download it, uh, for example, uh, the workbook, because of course uh, our lessons is one hour and 30 minutes, and of course it's not a good idea to spend one hour, uh, one hour and 30 minutes on the computer. So of course there are some breaks when uh, the kids can learn some offline tasks. And this is a workbook that can be downloaded from the system and be printed on the printing machine in the school that uh, have a lot of tasks to be done offline with the teacher or with the teamwork uh, among the children. So with some description in it, of course. So this is the workbook for the first five lessons. For example, uh, we need uh, to go deeper in understanding how the coordinate, how the angles work to do some projects in Scratch, for example, or how coordinates work. And here you can find a lot of tasks uh, that will help to understand the topics of coordinates and the angles. Because, of course, everybody, you know, that uh, for the kids, for example, uh, 10 or 9 years old, these topics are quite, still quite difficult. Uh, then also, uh, of course, the teacher need to, uh, there are a lot of tasks in the system that, uh, that the, teach, the kids will do during the lesson. And we can, uh, the teacher can go and see how the screen works uh, uh, on the, uh, on the, how would say, uh, kids interface. So now on the screen you can see the kids interface. So there are a lot of tasks that should be done in the first lesson. And the first part, it's a video that, uh, the kid, uh, th that the kid will see on the lesson to understand the main topic of it. So they see it with some description how like the algorithm work and what should be done here. Then uh, you go to the second part and there are some comics. So this storyline that uh, will like introduce you to, to the story of this lesson, the story of the course. So the main idea of, for example, this course is colonization of the Mars planet. And uh, the kids are part of the exhibition. And this uh, serious uh, guy, this is Captain Kepler. So he is the leader of this exhibition. And this is a small robot. It's Mars robot Turing. So he will be the main supporter of the kids among, uh, during the whole course. Then we are going to some tasks that should be done uh, during the lessons. So uh, in each task, there is small description that will help kids to understand how the task can be done, sometimes without the teachers, because it's super helpful. So the interface uh, is described to the kids. The kids are doing the tasks. Uh, there are a lot of tasks, for example, this is the first lesson, so they need to understand how the linear and cycle algorithms work in the general. Uh, with the stars, this is uh, a more complex tasks. So the minimum that the kid should do during the first lesson is, uh, for example, here, 10 tasks. Then there are more difficult things. If you need more explanation, the system will provide it to you. Of course, uh, there, there should be a lot of different mechanics in the system uh, because like uh, everybody knows and of course you know that uh, if uh, you um, ask the kids do in the same world uh, different tasks uh, and the world looks the same, of course they will be quite bored uh, very quickly. And I will show you some more uh, mechanics. Uh, one second. Uh, for example, this one. This one mechanic uh, is used for the kids five or six years old. Of course, when they are five or six, uh, they sometimes can read. In this case, uh, there will be no, practically no reading explanations. Everything can be easily done uh, without it. So this is, as you can see, another story. And again, the uh, here, of course, uh, uh, the main idea with working five or six years kids is to, understand, to explain the logic. So they can build the algorithms, think logically in the, let's call it complex way. Uh, or for example, another thing. This you can see the more uh, like another world and also another kind of tasks. 
For example, here we learn the kids how they can um, follow the algorithm. Uh, this is sometimes very important because for kids, uh, it, it, it can be a, a problem, let's call it. Uh, this is about the tasks. Uh, in each course, uh, there are some lessons that are fully uh, dedicated to practice. So there are like 20 different tasks for the cycle algorithm uh, uh, from the easy level to the more difficult level. And uh, uh, in, in, during these lessons, uh, kids should practice. But at the same time, uh, of course, it's super important not only to practice in problem solving, but it's very important to do the projects. And uh, we uh, were inspired by Scratch. So we use the Scratch and implied it to this in, in our system. So some of the lessons are fully dedicated to do the projects in the Scratch or the Scratch Junior, uh, where the kids uh, can do their projects. Uh, like maybe there is a question, why did we implement Scratch in our system, but not use uh, the uh, uh, scratch.mit.edu? Uh, this is a, uh, like the main answer is because we need the data, the data from all the lessons in the system. And of course, there are some other reasons. I will explain you a bit later. What's some important things I would like to introduce you. For example, uh, when you are working with uh, several kids in the same, uh, for example, you're working with the number of uh, kids 12. Uh, of course, there are uh, kids of different, um, uh, so for example, the same task for one kid can be super easy. And at the same time, the same task for another kid will be super difficult. If we use the same number of the same type of tasks for all the kids in the group, we will lose uh, the interest of uh, very smart kids or the kids that need more time to go through the material. What, what did we do with it? We introduced the, uh, uh, the personal tracks, the individual tracks for each kid. So the system can analyze uh, the, the, the previous performance of the kid and then give him the next task on the same topic, but at the same time uh, um, vary the level of difficulty. For example, uh, if uh, the previous task was quite difficult for the kid, the next one can be easier if he didn't solve it. Uh, this helps us uh, to, based on Vygotsky, uh, to work with the uh, close, um, uh, how it will be in English. Uh, in Russia, it will be zone ofближайшего развития, but in English, it will be the zone of uh, the next step of education, let's call it. Uh, Lisa, do you understand the, uh, the idea? Yes. Oh, oh, it's. I have already so many questions. If I could interrupt a little bit, just yes to follow. It's it's amazing. <laughs> just amazing. Um, also, the graphic is. Uh, we see that it's very intuitive, and and beautiful. The designs are beautiful. We we want to 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 make it because it's, I think it's very important. Uh, to be something very pleasant for children, attractive. This is part of the uh, process of learning, as we know. Uh, and I have two questions. When did you start to this to to, to develop this stuff? Uh, what kind of people? Because we have, we, I see that it's not only about uh, programming coding but i have i see that there's a lot of pedagogical psychological uh, things involved so i think you have this kind of help too yeah. and i see that it's uh written in russian but yeah. do you have english versions yes uh, yes. yes okay uh, we, we have like now we started uh, like starting from the first question to an, uh, yeah to in total so the first one uh, now there are eight methodologists that are working on developing the content some of them uh, some of them are with uh, technology technology and coding background so they understand the topic how to teach coding some of them are with pedagogical background and some of them are with the psychological background so we can do a lot of analysis uh, um, and if we get during the education, uh, we have a lot of pilots testing the content. Uh, 
We have all the data from each lesson. In this case, we can understand how the, the kids learning each minute in the lesson. In this case, we can understand from the pilots testing the content a lot and start developing it more and making it more and more efficient. Uh, and uh, it's really helps us to, to like, for example, the, uh, the course that uh, I'm starting to show you for, from the kid, uh, for the kids from nine to 11 years old, it's already had uh, more than 20 iteration of development. So we like, we make the iteration of uh, like 20 lessons. Uh, we see how the kids perform, make a lot of uh, ideas how it can be improved then uh, make the next version and go it through the key through like 100 kids or 200 kids see how it works there then improve then go again through another 200 kids then improve etc etc and also there are eight it coders who are developing the content so it's like methodology team and uh, it team who are developing uh, the it software and they're working in, in the group so yeah it's a complex uh, but very exciting uh, to, to to work uh, with them uh, in development of it yes i see because i i work i use my work is in the other side of this i work with the psychology and this stuff not only uh, i not it and i see that i that's a lot of improvement in this stuff because today we have many 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 uh, apps and programs and a lot of stuff but they don't care about so much about this pedagogical or psychological stuff and the i can see that you you thought about it but you not only thought about it but you try try and try and so it's wonderful it, 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 it's it, like for example if you're now talking about analytics uh, I will show you how, like, one second. Uh, uh, let's go for some of the groups that are already with us for more than 20 lessons. So, uh, do you see the screen? Yeah. Okay, so it's now downloaded. So, this is uh, the interface of the administrator. So, you can see here, um, for example, like, w the place where the, uh, the lesson is going the photo of the teacher and some information about the teacher who is working with this group. So here you can see the results of all the kids in the group. So here you can see, did this kid participate in the lesson? So green is he participated, red that he didn't participate. Now let's go in the lessons. So for example, uh, uh, for example, one second, uh, um, one second because Z Z Zuna um, uh, didn't help me like actually to use the screen one second yeah now it's okay so let's go to the analytics I am open the data now it's downloading one second yeah and now you can see the statistics in one particular lesson so you can see how many tasks each kid did did he do them correctly or not? How much time did this kid spend for doing the tasks? Here you can see the percentiles comparing with all the kids in the system that did this lesson. So like, is he better than average? Is he didn't better than average? You can go in any task and see how did the kid did this. So you can see this is the solution of this particular kid. Uh, you can write the message to the kid if he, you understand that his task was not correct. This is also important. Uh, the, and this data is available for each lesson. So we, we, we can open some others and you can see uh, the same thing. Yeah, this is. And here you can see like they start to do the project in Scratch. So the first part was a lot of tasks in practicing, and the second part of the lesson was doing the, uh, the Scratch project. This is the, uh, some way of analytics. And this is analytics is used by the teacher to understand the progress of the kids. For example, he know that like, uh, John was not performing good on the previous lesson, so he can do something else. Uh, or like, uh, we know that uh, 
Ivan didn't participate in the lesson, but did all his tasks at home. And you can see in blue, in blue, it's uh, marked that uh, this particular kid didn't participate in the lesson, so she was ill, but uh, log in in the system from home and did some tasks. That's also important information, uh, information for everybody. How can we use it? For example, it's about engagement. Because if the course, if the teacher is very good, the, the kid would like to, to do more from home. But if nobody from home uh, do any, anything, so nobody did anything in the system, that means it was very boring, the content or the teacher. Of course, we don't know who was the, the, the problem, but of course we know that there is some problem here, and we can look deeper in it to understand what happened. For example, to, to send the guy to see the lesson and do analytics. And, uh, make, uh, and give feedback to this teacher, for example, like this. This is a way how can it uh, works, for example. Of course, all the videos, all um, explanations are integrated in the system and helps a lot to organize this. One of the way now we are testing, and it's our dream to make it like this, we call it algorithmics X. It's when you don't have uh, the particular task for everybody on the lesson, so each each kid in the lesson works on his topic, like cases. And he, can sp uh, and he has in the system everything he needs to do the tasks. So like all the theory, all the uh, checking things to understand is the task done correctly or not. So he, each, each lesson, he came to, to the group, logging in the system and work himself in his own tempo, in his own speed. If you don't understand something, he raises the hand and asks uh, the teacher to help. But there is no like uh, uh, the same speed of doing the things. Uh, and uh, in five lessons, it, for example, like uh, the group of kids starting working like this, and what we see that in ten or fifteen lessons, with this um, somehow how it's called in English, uh, personal way of learning they know much more than the kids that are working in the group because they themselves understand the content, not the teacher explain. They do everything to understand the topic themselves. It, it works very good, but okay, let's go to, uh, to your next question. Just, it's about- just, just one more question. Uh, it yeah. was just uh, uh, about this, the interactions and the feedbacks among the children and the teacher and if there is any kind of interaction among the the, the students how yes. it it works of course like uh, what we understood and uh, of course uh, we are not sure that we are 100 percent right but when the kids are less than 11 years old they can't do it projects in in groups uh in like in big groups so, of course, the team interaction is very important. So what we are doing, the first one, a lot of offline activities that like from the workbook I have showed are doing in pairs or in the teams. So there are a lot of, uh, so for example, the lesson is one, uh, 90 minutes. And from this 90 minutes, 45 minutes, they work in the system themselves. And other 45 minutes is among interaction with the teacher and themselves because uh, they need it, it also develop themselves. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, your next question about the languages. Uh, yes, we have uh, the, um, two courses uh, translated into English, uh, two courses translated into Azerbaijanian, uh, one course translated in the Polish language in Poland, and now we are translated in the Israeli language. I don't know, like in, in Russia it's Yevrit. Uh, actually, I don't know how it's uh, in English. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, so we are translating it. So uh, not very quickly, but we are trying to do it. So we already have the kids, uh, Australian kids, uh, that are learning coding with us uh, in English. Uh, in Poland, of course, they use uh, Polish language. And uh, in Azerbaijanian, basically all the kids are using Azerbaijanian language. It's quite similar to Turkey one, but they have their own. 
uh, yeah, uh, some other things that I would like to show you. Of course, uh, uh, of course, sometimes, especially if we speak about not uh, uh, official educational system, but about extra education, uh, you need to communicate with the parents. And we have the special mailing things, so we, you can send the mails to the parents and their kids. For example, if uh, the kid is, didn't participate in the lesson, the system sh 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 himself itself s sending the mail to the kid we're like hello you didn't participate but you you can do this and this at home just to be uh, the same topic uh, or uh, like after each lesson there is an email to the parents like hello today we worked on this topic with the kids so when the kid will come home you can talk with with you with him about this and this just to to engage the parents in the in the process because it's also very important. Uh, of course, uh, it's sometimes important to understand uh, did the kid participate in the lesson or not because uh, for, for the administrator, of course, because sometimes you you need to call to the parents like why did your kid didn't participate? The system also helped with this kind of uh, activities. Um, yeah, what else uh, this is how the system works what else i would like to tell you let's go to the presentation again um so uh now i would like to tell a bit about uh, our oh sorry it's some problem with uh, the formatting but i will explain each of it so there are some uh sorry uh Sorry, one second. So I will tell you a bit about the, ba the basic principles that me and my team are using during the development of all these things. The first one, it's about uh, uh, connecting. I, I, actually, nobody in the team believes that the kids uh, um, less than 14 years old can learn online for the long period of time. Uh, I hope that you agree with it. Uh, so, of course, we need the teacher because uh, it's uh, like to motivate in the long period of time and to be a coach, to be a mentor of the, uh, this long process. And uh, in this case, we believe that IT should be used not to replace the teacher, but to help the teacher during the educational process. It's the first, first one. We are uh, uh, talking about blended learning. Let's call it. The second one, it's about mixing the projects and the tasks. For example, um, when you, I, I like this example, when you, uh, Helisa, we were talking about the football at the beginning of today's conversation. And when the kids are learning football, uh, they have, I think, two different processes during the education. First of all, they need to practice some parts of playing, yeah? So how to communicate uh, using the ball with the team members how to beat the ball to, 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 to make the goal, et cetera, et cetera. And this is a separate part. And that's what we call that you need to practice with the tasks. So solve 20 tasks about uh, linear algorithm or about uh, uh, conditions uh, in uh, the coding process, you, you, you better understand the concept. But at the same time, as a football, uh, you need to practice uh, beating, you need to practice uh, uh, giving pass to your team members, but at the same time, you need to play football to make it united, to make it uh, connected in, the, in, in one topic. The, this what's about projects. So first, practice with uh, small parts of the whole game, uh, and then make your project in scratch, combining all the knowledge that you learned before. Uh, so this is about project and task combining process. The third one, we believe that gamification, of course, helps a lot in the educational uh, things. That's why we put a lot of gamification in the system. It's a storyline. It's a, it's a, um, it's a experience that uh, the kids uh, earn for each task that was solved by them correctly and they can spend this experience to upgrade their character in the system. Uh, the fourth uh, principle is about adaptivity. So it's that uh, you have, of course, each kid is different. In this case, you need to give them different way of learning the materials, different level of difficulty for learning the materials, different speed of learning the materials. It's super important for us. And the fifth one, it's about diversity. So 
it's again about that you need uh, uh, you can't learn coding alone I th in, in our opinion so in each lesson we introduce 10 or 15 minutes minutes for example of uh, um, of some information about physics biology economic etc etc uh, to show them how uh, the world works uh, in in this way one of our learning goals is to develop the curiosity in kids so if they are, will be curious about the world of course they will start to learn more and will be more efficient in the future in the future it's about diversity um, then I, I, I you, now you can ask questions because what next I will do I will give you some information about our Azerbaijanian project because now it's the biggest project to algorithm uh, to algorithmics uh, and uh, then to tell a bit uh, tell some facts about what we can get from data that we got from each lesson so i'm listening hello isa no questions oh. Oh, oh, sorry, I didn't turn off the microphone. Yes, I, I have some questions. Uh, I saw a, a in previous slides that you showed us that there was something like coordinates, temperatures, and now you mentioned about the things about the world. Uh, so you can engage children, students in, in learning. It's uh, can you repeat? Please, I actually didn't understand uh, you maybe correctly. Oh, yeah. oh, oh sorry. Um, you showed uh, in the previous line, uh -huh. slides, you have shown something about coordinates, temperatures, uh, as tasks for children. You have some activities that involving coordinators, uh, temperatures, thermometers, things like that. Uh, yeah. Uh, what that was that? About, uh, it is. Yeah. I, I, my question is, is that part of this stuff you're saying uh, about uh, show the world, engage students in learning about people's world before learning only IT coding and stuff? Yeah. Uh, there are diff uh, like we are providing a lot of different uh, activities that the teacher can use during the lesson to to make this uh, cross disciplines uh, um, uh, things. For example, sometimes they do some um, um, some tests with uh, physics things. Yeah, so some some chemistry uh, experiments in, during the lesson. So we have uh, how how to okay we have this. At the beginning, I told you that we have a storyline about colonization of Mars planet. So the kids are the part of the exhibition. So on the first lesson, they build the rocket to participate in the exhibition. That's how we explain. And during this lesson, we explain them how the rocket fly. Why does it fly? And they use the balloons to understand this physics activity, how, how the rocket can fly. Uh, during the second uh, lesson, uh, like uh, we are uh, thinking about, like okay, uh, in several days uh, you will start this uh, travel to Mars. What did you need with you to survive from the Mars? That's how we explain that uh, uh, you need uh, some uh, air to breathe there, and how can you get this air, uh, so uh, oxygen there? Yeah. Oxygen, so, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, that Gravity, you will wait like that. Yeah, okay. that you wait different uh, number of kilos uh, on the Mars. And what did it uh, mention? Uh, what did it um, um, mean for you, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. Uh, then you uh, appeared on the Mars planet, and uh, we are like uh, discussing what the Mars planet looks like, and uh, we are asking the kids uh, to find at home. Uh, the photo of the Mars that they really enjoyed, and explain why did you they enjoy these photos, and etc. etc. So this and then we are starting to build uh, this uh, co colony on the Mars, and we are talking to them. Okay, what kind of the buildings do we need on the Mars? 
uh, for the schooling to be efficient. And uh, that's how we talk about the kids, about what the buildings are in the cities are super important and uh, should be built as first uh, and, and so on and so on. Uh, sometimes they do uh, physics, uh, chemistry, um, chemistry experiments. Uh, and of course, some teachers can get the staff to do the experiments, some can't. In this case, you have several, uh, several options. Some options are super easy to organize, some options are more difficult to organize. Uh, this cross uh, among the disciplines is yeah. great. I, I'm very happy when you, you mentioned that, that biology, physics, chemistry, is, you can use. Uh, yes, it's wonderful. And uh, this um, system you are using in after school programs or for school programs as well? Now half half. So, uh, and this is a very good question to start uh, like our next topic. So we have our, uh, so our school algorithmics is working as extra school activities. So after school, after school activities. And, uh, um, but at the same time, one year ago, we were invited by the Minister of Education of Azerbaijan to help them to develop the new school lesson official school lesson. Uh, we called them uh, in this lesson digital skills. And now we are in, uh, in partnership with them, developing the content from, from seven years old till children to 17 years old children. So 11 years of the program uh, to teach kids not only computer science, but also computer literacy, but also uh, computer professions. Uh, and also, uh, let's call it the skills of the 21st century through, through all of this, like project, project thinking, uh, creative thinking, etc., etc. And uh, last year, uh, the year, one year before now, so last autumn, we started the huge pilot there, so the first year of the project. We developed the program for the uh, 10 years old children, and uh, 45 school officially joined the pilot. So it's, uh, it's close to 7,000 kids and they participate uh, in the projects. So, uh, first of all, we develop the content, then we help to educate the teachers. It, it, it's 200 teachers that were involved in the projects. So we educated the teachers, and then the, full, the, uh, the whole year, so now it's still continuing, we uh, support them. So answer the questions of the teachers, so see in the system how the, each lesson works, etc. So the ministry enjoyed the process, the kids enjoyed the process, and the teachers also enjoyed the process. So the next year, it will be uh, 70 schools, uh, the kids from nine to 12 years old, so it's four grades of the school uh, program, and uh, 30, 30, 3, 0, 000 kids uh, that will learn uh, digital skills with algorithmics uh, in their uh, official school program. Uh, and like, uh, for example, now it's interesting to, to see the, for example, the data that we provide to the minister, because for ministry, it's super important. Now you can see the small graphics. I will show you what does it mean. So uh, as uh, the uh, vertical line, it's the percentage from zero to one, to 100 percentage. The um, horizontal line, it's the date. So it's uh, the 7th of March, uh, uh, so the 1st of March, the 2nd of March, the 3rd of March, the 5th of March, 6th of March, 7th of March. And uh, this is the quality of the lessons. So during this week, during the six days, there were more than um, 500 lessons in the schools in Azerbaijan. And the green color shows the number, the, the percentage of the lessons that were done very good. So uh, the teachers got five mark to this lesson. So a lot of the kids did a lot. The kids like uh, enjoyed the content, and uh, uh, we we saw in the system that everything is super cool. Uh, the yellow stuff it's a four mark. Yeah. So the lesson was good, not excellent, but quite good. The red mark is the satisfaction mark. So the the kids in general done a lot of things, but we see that 
for example, there are some, some problems, yeah? some kids like didn't do some stuff. And the blue one, it's uh, very bad. So like uh, very bad results uh, in the classes. That helps the ministry and the us to understand uh, what works, what didn't work, where to go to see how it works. And uh, for example, one of the things we understand that for example, presentation, PowerPoint presentation, like we, uh, uh, is a very helpful tool uh, with all the stuff that already created to, uh, to weak teachers. And what we did, did, did we do? And now I will show you. We introduced the PowerPoint presentations with all the explanations of the topic of the lesson. And now you can see the graph uh, on the slide. And this graph shows, like there, there are two, uh, I will sh explain you the, 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 mm, the meaning of the graph and then we'll uh, discuss it. So again, the vertical line is the percentage. Percentage of the kids, of uh, one particular lesson. Uh, the horizontal line, it's the number of good projects that this kid did during the lesson. So the blue line showed you the number of the kids that did good projects. Uh, like, uh, so 30% of the blue line showed you that 30% of the kids did not do any good projects on the lesson. So, is, is, is it, did you understand, yeah? Yes. Uh, so, 25% did one good lesson, uh, did one good project. 40% did two good projects. Then we introduced presentations. And, uh, and have another, like, uh, 3,000 kids that went through the same lesson, but with the presentations that were available to the teachers. And you see the dramatical difference, really dramatical. So only 10% of the kids didn't do any projects. So the, the number decreased for 20%, one fifth. It's a super cool result. And all these kids, like this, let's call them big kids, did something. It's, it's really increased the quality of uh, the educational process. And we can see it in the data. Uh can you come back to that slide, please, with the graph? Yes, of course. Yeah, uh, thanks. Uh, so in the extremes, uh, you have the less... Uh, the number of projects, scratch projects. The, yes. The, the kid... Mm -hmm. Okay. So do you mean that this is like a Gauss curve? When the, you have in the center, the median, the most of them in the median? Or, uh, or, uh, it can be so, but it's actually the main idea from here that you have unsatisfaction kids. Yeah, so the kids that didn't understand the content. And when we didn't use a presentation, the number of the kids that didn't understand the content with the weak teachers were 30%. It's super a lot but when we give the new tool the presentation tool to the teachers the number of uh, not performing kids decrease from 30 percent to 10 percent here so the red yeah. line is the groups with presentations the blue line the big groups with no presentations Yes, the comparison of the two situations, but uh, seeing just the red line, uh -huh. uh, what, what do you have in the streams? I could understand uh, here uh, and the, here. Uh, the red line shows. Why do you have low percentage in this? Yeah, you have low percentage of not performing kids, not performing kids, Ten, only 10%. Okay, so the, the red one is like the Gauss curve, maybe. Yeah. Yes, that one. Because the most of them are in this part. Or no in more. the middle part, of course, yeah. Because uh, the most kids usually perform good. Yeah, so like not excellent, not bad, good. 
Yes, that's what I, I wanted to me. And here with the blue line, you can compare the situations. And, and, and you said that they, when they have a PowerPoint presentation previously, it works better. Uh, not previously, afterwards. So, so ah, oh. uh, you, have, uh, you have 500 classes. So first 250 classes, half of the classes. Uh, uh, during the one lesson, fifth lesson, for example, fifth lessons, didn't use presentations. And another part, another 250 classes, uh, during the same fifth class, use presentations. And you compare. Ah, uh, okay. Now I got it. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, like, okay, I think we, we need to finish with the data. Uh, but uh, but if you want, I can uh, answer some of your questions. Some of your questions. Uh, maybe Jia Lung Tsai has any questions? Would you like to add something? Um, okay, I don't know if he's. Oh, he has some problems. Does this website combine any block level scratch or block games to help students studying? Of course, of course. Uh, I was ex uh, showing it at the beginning. So there are a lot of mechanics like this. I will now show them again to, uh, for you to, to see it. It's like lessons. One, one, one second. I will go to the English version. One second. Yeah. Нет, нет. Over. Um, so, for example, this is the Blockly things. Jalun, uh, if you see, this is the first lesson of the course. So they work with the linear algorithm. If you see, yeah, you see. And then I will show you some more mechanics that can be used in the system. Uh, one second. Again. Uh, uh, I will show you the scratch things. We also now working in implementing scratch free in the system. And uh, I think we will finish with it before MIT guys will do it. This you see another, another mechanics. Is it, can you see it? Yeah, so, okay, okay. Okay, I'm ready for some more questions, so like, uh, or maybe no questions more. Okay, I have another question. Uh, so this, uh, now this um, platform is available also for other countries. As you told, uh, you have Poland, Israel, and yeah. 
how could you compare the receptation, the receptivity of this kind of learning among these other countries, comparing to the Russia uh, school system? This is a very good. This is a very good question. So, um, if you speak about um, um, after school education, it's very similar in different countries. In this case, we did not um, uh, change the system. So we have courses for uh, the separate course for five to seven years old kids, uh, the separate course for eight years to nine years old kids, and separate course from 10 to 12 years old kids. And what we see that in different countries, it's very close the same. If you speak about the uh, school, uh, like to use the system during the school years, so, and, to, uh, and here you, um, of course, each country has its own things. So now we use it in schools in Russia and in Azerbaijan. And now we are starting the, uh, the process with Cyprus. And we will change the system to the Cyprus educational uh, school education. So this is a huge process. So understand how it organized in, the, in, in, in Cyprus and then to change it. It's not a lot of changes, of course, uh, but there are, of, cor of course, will be some changes. Uh, okay, and you are, and the Azerbaijan government uh, decided to get it for all the, the school system. How was that? Yeah, it was uh, very, like, it's a very good minister of education there. So minister is super cool and super proactive. And uh, he saw information about us in the press. So we are quite popular in Russia. And Azerbaijan is a quite like good friend of Russia. So uh, some, some people sent him the link that there is a very innovation project in Russia with this. And he invited us to show the system to, to the people in the ministry. Uh, they liked it and they told us, okay, can we do the pilot? If the pilot will be successfully uh, successful, you will be uh, enjoyed uh, involved in the process of develop, uh, developing the new subject. So the previous year was a huge pilot. Uh, they and us think that it's super successful, and now we are like uh, uh, in super involved. So the, we are the leader of the process of changing educational system of this subject in Azerbaijan. And how long does it take this process since the pilot? Four, 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 four five years. Four, five years. Yes. Okay. Oh, it's so, a huge so, success. Congratulations. Thank you very much. So now, you, like, for example, you can see on the screen another mechanics, and it's one of my favorite ones. So we call it a uh, chief, a uh, food chief. So uh, the kids need to, to program the robot to prepare the soup. So you have uh, different vegetables in the system and uh, the system can check, uh, is the vegetable good for the soup or not? And you need to write the algorithm to, like, to, to program the system to check, uh, uh, so what types, what um, conditions do you have? The color, the form. Uh, using these two kind of uh, conditions, you are programmed the robot. And, and can can you put it to run? Yeah, um, yes, of course. Just kudos! It's so <laughs> colorful, well, the, interesting. This even we want to see it. Yeah, one second. We need to put Tikva. Oh, it's cute. Great. And you can do a lot of kind of these mechanics uh, to, and they are super different. They should be different. 
because uh, if uh, so, congratulations, we are prepare prepare the good soup. Now let's go to another task. Yeah. I have the positive feedback, so it's yes, <laughs> great, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Okay, uh, I think we uh, about finishing. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, I'd like to to thank you very much for the wonderful presentation and for sharing all this stuff with us. Uh, thank you very much. Jia do you want to to say something? Oh, he's asking something. Oh. How many checkpoints do this website have for kids? It is funny. What do you mean checkpoints? Jalen, what do you mean checkpoints? And thank you for games. Um, actually, uh, let me count. So there are more than 10 different mechanics. Uh, so there are different courses. So the course for from five to seven and others. And for each course, there are more than five, from five to 10 different mechanics uh, for each course and also Scratch. And one of the important things we are now working on is to modify Scratch. What do we mean to modify Scratch? It's, it's um, it's to make some and to make sometimes scratch more um, more more how to say it um, not small but limited limited number of uh, code things because when the kid first appear all these comments it's sometimes quite difficult uh, to to work with it but if you make the new comments as a, uh, uh, as a things that the kid achieve for a good results in the educational process, it's again gamification. That's what now we are working on. So the small short answer from five to 10 different games for each uh, uh, year of the kids. Also a lot of offline mechanics and uh, different kind of scratch activities extra. Okay. Uh, another question about Python. Thank you a lot. Uh, next year we will develop. Uh, now we are developing, and the next year it will be available. Then uh, the course with uh, for the twelve to fourteen years old kids in Python. So yes, Python will be available from autumn. Now we are in developing process. And and it will be uh, some other things also. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. Thank you very much, Henry. Thank you, Jalen Saib, for participating. Uh, and let's be connected. A lot of things to, to, to learn <laughs> from you, for sure. Thank you very much. And thank you for, for this conversation. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.